What's going on everyone? My name is Dan and this is DTM Design. Welcome to another video. So it's not a build video today, but we are checking out my new maker studio desk space that I've set up in my new place. The last time we made a video, we were in New Jersey. So let's check out the new space. All right guys, so last time you saw me make a video, it was for the Battletoads Turbo Tunnel video that came out last week. Um, now I'm back in California. This is my new little workspace. Um, we've got some battle toads loaded up on the NES right now. So we're gonna go through, I'm gonna show you my new little setup and where I have things. We are out of the dreary state of New Jersey, so we're back in the sunshine state. Um, I'm gonna tease a few projects I have going here and we have a giveaway announcement coming up at the end of the video, so please stay around for that. You got a chance to win one of these. <laughs> All right guys, so starting off the tour, we got my aircraft cart. Um, you've seen this in the background of many videos and even my other makerspace tour of my very old garage over in California, have you seen this thing? Now we still have the basic kind of setup going on over here with uh, the pegboard and all our stuff. Now it's not as accessible as it used to be, but that's just because we got to save some space here. Um, we have the same tabletop desk as before, but we have these new legs. And I also decided to put my big computer on the desk um, just because it was on its own desk last time. And I don't know, had a little more space, but I feel like just as a new setup, it's kind of just necessary. So we have the vinyl cutter down there with all our vinyl material. Now I said that I was gonna preview a few um, you know, builds that are gonna come up here soon. So under here, I saw a video a while back, which was um, someone took some old footballs and made them into wallets. So I bought a little extra material here because I'm gonna be doing that with shoes, but obviously the material's cut in weird shapes and stuff. So we're gonna be using part of these as accent pieces and we're gonna be building some new like custom New Balance wallets and use this for kind of the inside parts like the pockets and we're gonna be doing some stitching for that. So look forward to that video guys. That's probably gonna be one of the next ones for sure after this one. I believe that'll be the next one. Then we have this chair here. Now this is my classic chair from my garage days on my garage studio. I had a different chair in New Jersey for the taller table I had. Now this will also be a video soon. We're gonna be redoing all the paint on this and I have some new caster wheels that we're gonna get welded in there. Um, so this is nice and protected for this wood flooring and just looks a little prettier. We're gonna do it in a blue to match the cart um, as per a request from someone. Anyways, and also we'll mask that and the wheels are orange, so that'll be cool. So kind of got an orange, blue, orange industrial scheme going throughout the whole thing. Um, so here's my cutting mat. This is the same one as before, but uh, we have, I've flipped it over. It's a fresh place, fresh build. So there's all our old build stains that we've done together on the channel. Um, we got our little notebooks here, basic tool setup. Now I'm sure this will adjust as time goes on and I start building things again, um, layout or where it sits and what have you. Um, over here, we got some things that I plan on hanging up on the wall soon. This is little like Lego thing that has like a family photo in on the other side, but I love the graphics on this. We got uh, Mad Dreams and Monsters uh, like book insert. It's not really like supposed to be hung up, but I just thought it was cool because it has all of Phil Tibbetts like Jurassic Park stuff, you know, Mad God, a lot of great things, uh, Robocop, all that. So yeah, this is pretty much the setup I have right now. We have our NES right here. We have this was gonna be Better Call Saul uh, build. Still can be. If you guys wanna see me finish that and put it somewhere. Look, we even had the city plaza parking going. And we got that. I'm sorry if I'm breathing heavy. Um, it's just hot right now. 
So yeah, we got all our stuff displayed up here. Now you guys may have seen my last display where this was pretty clustered together. Um, there's a few new things that probably weren't on the display before, but now everything's nice and spread out and you can just see it real well. Um, so yeah, those are kind of just, you know, things to motivate the build or inspiration, I guess, to look upon. We got the old um, Pepsi machine build that we did for episode one. You can check out that build video on the channel. And yeah, so yeah, this is pretty much the setup. It's nothing too crazy, guys. Um, in here, of course, we have our materials. We have stuff for bases, and there's a drawer that's dedicated to just plastic materials. We got the heat gun, which we're gonna be pulling out for those shoes soon, and some saws and various stuff, electronics. Nothing too crazy. And of course, this pops up too. Never really use that. That's usually my like board. You see me stand on in my intros. And that's usually all it gets used for, to be honest with you. Um, in here, we have the 3D printers, which are just kind of in standstill because I'm not using them at the moment. If I need them, I'll pull them out, but I'm not gonna have them constantly set up because they're just kind of ugly to always have set up like that. Um, we got some stuff here that will be future builds. Um, this may be like a replica of Whistling Diesel's like Hilux that he f***ed up a long time ago. And this, I'm thinking of doing a, uh, a, uh, sorry, motorcycle passed by. Don't know if you can hear that. Um, thinking about doing like a Ninja Turtles pizza truck van with that. I think that'd be kind of fun. Maybe something along those lines. Got some packing material. Got our printer here. It's a Brother uh, laser jet, not an inkjet. So I can print on vinyl and make stickers and stuff for the scale models and buildings, what have you. But that's that little closet. Pretty disorganized, but does the job. And then <clears throat> last little area for my stuff is this in here. Uh, we got the sewing machine, we got the spray paint, we got a Garfield hanging out, we got some of our VHSs for the TV. These are the caster wheels that are gonna be going on that um, chair. So I hope you guys enjoy seeing the little preview of some builds that'll be coming up. Um, if you're deep into this video, you're gonna get a special little preview. Under here, I have a bunch of parts that I found out at Swap Meet. So we're gonna be doing a Star Wars blaster soon, so keep a lookout for that video as well. These are all coming in the future, so I hope you guys will enjoy seeing those and um, let me know what else you guys wanna see me build and all that stuff, cause I can always do that. We're gonna be getting going here on some projects, some new videos, there'll be shorts. Um, you can always check me out on DTM underscore design for my Instagram and all that stuff. If you want some more frequent updates or just wanna look at some other style posting. All right, everybody. So thank you for watching the little tour video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing kind of the setup. I know it wasn't much of a video and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing some little snippets of projects and videos that will be coming in the future on this channel. I hope to share to stay as consistent as possible. I'm sorry if I don't, but I'm gonna do my best. Now, to talk about that giveaway that I kind of mentioned in the beginning of the video, at a thousand subscribers, we'll be giving away this 5X times larger Lego minifigure. We've built these in the past. You can go check out those videos and see the whole process on building this. But between the back to Dark Vader and the Tuscan Sand Raider that you saw, you can choose between one of these if you're the lucky winner. So once we reach a thousand subscribers, um, I'll be reaching out to someone however I can to get a hold of you. Um, once I pick it, I will probably do a video showing the little raffle or the random pick going off so you know everything is fair. I don't want anyone to feel like this was a scheme or anything like that. Now we're about 40 subscribers away from a thousand. So if you guys just hit subscribe, get us there, tell your family, friends, watch some videos, go check out the Instagram if you want. I'd really appreciate it. So until next time guys, until we have the new video about the new balance wallets from shoes, I will see you next time. Yeah, that's perfect.